In today's Madden 21 tip video, I'm going to be breaking down a key statistic that you need to be aware of both as you're building your Mutt Squad and as you're deciding who you want to use in head-to-head -head matches. So I want to talk about this real quick, but before I do, I want to introduce myself to you. If you've never met me or you don't know who I am, uh, my name is Cody and I make Madden YouTube videos. There you see I've been banned. I was kind of un... un um, unwarrantedly banned from EA uh, during the mass ban, uh, but that just got lifted today, so got the account back and everything's all good. But anyway, I want to talk about this. Um, I make four videos a day on YouTube that are designed to help you in some type of tangible way. And so one of the things that I I realized now that I haven't talked about a lot, I kind of thought it was common knowledge. I did a coaching session yesterday and and it wasn't as common as I thought it was, to be quite honest with you. So I want to dive into this really, really quick because I think it's going to be helpful. The number one thing that you want to look for on your wide receivers, okay, number one thing that you want to look for is route running, specifically deep route running. You see Amari Cooper has 96 short route run, 93 medium route run, and 91 deep route run. If I go up here to the All NFL, this will share with me, you know, who, where everybody's at. As you can see, you know, Devontae Adams has really, really, really good deep route running, um, which is part of the reason why I use the Packers. Getting that threshold you have no idea how important that is. One of the things that's actually really interesting about the Bucks, because a lot of people like to use the Bucks, they actually don't have the best route running. In fact, if you take a look, and, and, and it can be deep, short, or medium. Um, what I'm going to specifically be focusing in on today is the deep route running. And I want to talk about it as it applies to bench press. Um, and I want to talk about it as it applies to a couple of specific routes that have been really, really good throughout Madden history. But if you don't have the deep route running threshold of 90 and above, it just isn't the same. So what we're going to do in this video is we're going to talk a little bit about the, the bench press. Now, I understand that bench press is going to get patched, but this applies to more than just bench press. This applies to... Um, this apl applies to um, everything else as well. Um, it, it applies to one step ahead. It applies to all of the, all of those things. So what I like to look for in Mutt, um, being 100% transparent with you, I won't really, I will go above and beyond to get a wide receiver that has 90 deep route running or higher. And the reason I want it to be deep route running is because that is what's going to get you the separation on those inside breaking posts and dig routes and all of those kind of things. Um, medium route running, I think, is actually very underrated, too. Um, I really like them to have 90 of everything. If I had to choose, it would be 90 deep route running, second would be 90 me medium, and then third would be 90 uh, short. And I want to show you how this affects it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to one of my favorite plays in Madden. We're going to go to spread wide flex. I'm going to put Devontae Adams over here on the right side. And, of course, I completely jacked it up right at the gate here. i got to call timeout. And we're going to put him up against Jalen Ramsey. Jalen Ramsey has the bench press ability. And we're going to talk about this. I did a video on this before, um, but I want to talk about it right now. And if you guys have not already joined my YouTube channel Discord, I do want to encourage you to jump into that. There's a link to that in the description. Don't wait anymore. Go ahead and jump into it right now while you're watching this video. All right, so Dime 146 Cup to Man. This is going to automatically press the corners uh, Y stick. You see that it has this angled fade to the outside. These are unique. These are rare. They're not in every single formation. And so this is a specific play from the Arizona Cardinals playbook um, that we're going to be talking about. Now, if you want the full breakdown from Arizona, what I want to encourage you to do, I wrote a full comprehensive competitive guide based out of the Arizona Cardinals offensive playbook and the 4-6 defensive playbook, right? It covers not just the 4-6 formation, but it covers the 4-6, the 3-4 bear, the nickel 3-3-5, nickel 3-3-5 wide, nickel normal. It will be updated with big nickel over G as well as dollar 3-2-6 down the road. So uh, anyways, guys, it's the entire playbook. It's comprehensive guide. So you get everything. You get gun spread, gun trips, gun cluster, all of those formations. So uh, if you haven't picked it up, you can pick it up by clicking the link in the description. One of the guys that picked it up said it's the best Best ebook he's ever seen, most in depth tutorials, and most comprehensive material. It actually works as a scheme, not just a collection of money plays. All right, so why stick? Let's talk about this. So, 
Jalen Ramsey. So if I put Devontae Adams on just a straight streak, watch what happens here. You see, he's going to get pressed. See that? And then it's going to be hard to get him the ball. Now, Aaron Rodgers is an absolute stud. I did a video on him yesterday and why he's so good. Um, but you see, he can't get the ball to him. Now, if I just leave him on this route, what you'll see, right? See that right there? See that right there? Let me show you what just happened. So I'm going to, I'm going to do it one more time. Now, Devontae Adams is going to be on a straight streak. You see, he gets pressed. Now, if I put if I leave Devontae Adams on this route right here that you're seeing, you see that's a little angle to the outside? Watch what's going to happen. He's going to miss the press, and I can get the ball out to the side and get a nice little back shoulder catch. That's a really, really important discovery, and I want to show you why. Okay, So we looked at his route running. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put in Marquez Valdez-Scantling in that same position. So come back out, and now we're going to put Marquez Valdez-Scantling in that position. Same exact route, same everything. The only difference is Marquez Valdez-Scantling does not have over 90 deep route running. Okay, in fact, I don't even think he has over 80. Watch the snap of the ball here. Snap the ball, you see he's going to get jammed, and now you can't get the ball to him, as you can see. This is, you know, now again, you're you're obviously going to get pressed on a streak, right? You're, if you run a streak with either receiver, they're going to get pressed. The thing that I want you to take away from this is when Devontae Adams runs that stick route or that little fade route, he doesn't get pressed. When Marquez Vadas Scantling runs it, he does get pressed. It's a major difference, and it's just based on the route running. Now what I want to do is I want to show you one other route that I think is really, really good for beating man-to-man -man coverage if you have a Devontae Adams type of receiver, only if you have a Devontae Adams type of receiver. And what I mean by that is I mean a receiver that has over 90 deep route running, over 90 deep route running. That's, to me, the key threshold that you want to look for. And what you're going to see is wide corner. Watch what, watch what happens on this route. You're going to see that he is going to get rerouted. And part of this has to do uh, with the fact, um, part of this has to do with the fact that it's short route running. But what you'll see here is he's going to get inside release. There you see it. And this is going to torch bench press, as you see right there. He's going to get that inside release. And we can throw this several times. Um, this route has been one of the best routes in Madden for years. If you have a stud receiver, I highly, highly recommend this route this year because here's the deal with this route. It's going to kill zone too. Like zone is not better. <laughs> Let me, I promise you that. Let me show you what happens in cover three. We're going to run right wide corner, right? When he cuts the inside, pass lead inside, click on, and you're going to be able to typically get inside there. I need to get Jalen Ramsey over there on that side of the field. We'll do that in just a second. But I just want to show you really quickly, if they're running cover four or cover three, anything with a deep blue over the middle, pass lead down to the inside, click on. You can typically get that secure catch. For whatever reason, Devontae Adams isn't cooperating with me right now. Um, but what you'll see is, I mean, this thing absolutely just torches the man coverage. But let me get J Jalen uh, Ramsey over there to show you exactly what's going on and exactly what happens. So it's it's what's I call it just Z spot route. Honestly, that's what I call it. Some people call it different things. You can find it in multiple formations. It's actually probably best this year from trips, guns, trips, the stick wheel play. I really like this play. Uh, also tray open and it's from the play Y corner, but it's these little it's some people call it an S route because that's kind of the angle he's going. But I do want to show you this specifically when we're talking about the press and we're talking about the fact that Jalen Ramsey, they're going to put their best guy against your best guy. Do you have the route running to be able to get off the press? That's the route running is what gets you off the press this year, not release. Route running over release every single time. So you see here Jalen Ramsey's going to get inside, and that time he wins. That time he does win. But what you'll find is he's not going to win most of the time. Most of the time... Devontae Adams is going to win right when he cuts down. And, and, of course, the practice mode sheds are just absolutely insane. So I'm going to go ahead and have to handle that real quick. But what you'll see here, they're gonna, there's the press right there. You see that little instant win he's going to get, and it's going to kill bench press. Now, it's fairly consistent. What I would say is part of what is hurting Devontae Adams is I think that his release might actually be hurting him. Not that he has too bad of a release, he actually has too good of release, if you could believe that. Um, but you'll see. Literally, if I consistently run this, he's going to get open about nine times out of ten. 
I mean, you can literally, and I don't know why you can't catch, but you can throw this very, very consistently. Now, what if I ran like a comeback route? Let me show you that. So I'm going to run a comeback route on the left side. You see he's going to get that instant win. Now, Jalen Ramsey does pick it off because I didn't high point it on the outside. One of the things I do want to tell you guys is that if you haven't already tried doing this, when you're running routes um, at 15, basically at 10 yards and up, try high pointing them. Um, you'll find the accuracy thresholds really are actually pretty good. See there, there's the there's the press that I want to talk about. And that has to do with Devontae Adams' um, route running a little bit. Um, Mari, someone like Mari Cooper, probably a little bit better um, to show you this because he has a little bit better statistics. But anywho, that route will typically beat man-to-man. -man. Again, what I would encourage you to consider here, if he gets that inside leverage, now you see there when he gets rerouted like that, that's how you kind of know he's not going to win. And most of the time, what, what I think, you know, typically what I'll do is smart route him as well. That seems to sometimes help him. But see here, there's that little reroute. But see how he still is going to get over the top of it? Even if he gets rerouted, he's still going to get over top of the coverage. Aaron Rodgers, for whatever reason, can't get him the ball. But literally, this thing's going to get that inside position. Here, he doesn't get it, but he gets over the top. Still gets over the top. See that? Still gets over the top. And I can get that ball to him fairly consistently um let's show you this one more time part of it might be because of the fatigue um that he's getting caused but click on right in there mm, ramsey got me on that one but the deep route running is what's really really important well that's what i mainly hope that you take away now part of this also is the fact that jalen ramsey does have the one step ahead ability one step ahead is allowing him to kind of cut this thing off if he doesn't have one step ahead it's literally an automatic touchdown. Most people you face in in um, in mutt uh, are not going to have one step ahead, and if they do have it, again, we're getting to the point of the year where most cards are going to have this ninety deep running ninety deep route running threshold that you can easily um, that you can easily put in there in that in place of that. So, you know, all all in all, it's a good route. There's routes that work even better. Let me show you one from, uh, I actually think personally it works best from bunch quads. That's the formation that I like to run the most out of this. But bunch quads, same kind of thing. You got Devontae Adams out there. And what we're going to do, I wish we should have just edited Jalen Ramsey and taken that one step ahead off just to show you specifically bench press ability. But what you'll see here, and, and part of it also has to do with the fact that I think, I think Devontae Adams was fatigued. But if I pass lead it up and over the top, you see how he gets over the top, over the shoulder of the of the corner. To me, that's really really significant. But anyways, this route, um, you know, is gonna help you. There's several routes that are gonna work really really well against this against this meta. But what I want to get across to you is what you want to be looking for. The key statistic for your wide receivers is 90 and above route running. And if you can get 90 and above route running at every single thing, at short route running, medium route running, deep route running, it's really going to help your offense. It's really going to improve things for you. It's going to make it a lot easier to move the ball down the field. So thank you so much for your time today, guys. We have a live stream tonight at 10 o'clock Eastern time. I want to invite you to it. We're going to be playing Madden 21 live. Going to be sharing some tips and strategies for you on stream and also answering questions questions live one last thing i want to tell you before i take off is if you have not already subscribed to the channel i want to encourage you to do that and we've got some other videos coming up on screen here for you to check out thanks for your time and we'll see you in a little bit on our stream at 10 o'clock